Joe, your book is titled People, Power and Profits, Progressive Capitalism for an Age of Discontent. Um, should it be progressive capitalism or worker power? I mean, this is increasingly becoming the issue, when you have the top candidates and most popular political figures, like AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, like Bernie Sanders, one of the top presidential contenders, proudly calling themselves democratic socialists. Yeah. So, in those few words in the title, I try to pack uh, an awful lot. So, one of the things I wanted to say is that any modern economy, the market is going to have to play an important role. So that's why I wanted to use the word capitalism. But I wanted to s signal that the form of capitalism that we've seen over the last 40 years has not been working for most people. And that's the why I talk about people. We, we, we have to have progressive capitalism. We have to tame capitalism and redirect capitalism so it serves our society. You know, uh, people are not supposed to serve the economy. The economy is supposed to serve uh, our people. The other word I talk about is power. Here, what I'm trying to capture is there's a real sense of powerlessness uh, by a lot of Americans, powerlessness in the economy and powerlessness in our politics. It's because of the increased concentration of market power in our economy, the growth of those monopolies, tech monopolies, monopolies in so many sectors, uh, which is one of the factors that have contributed to all this inequality. But there's also— Hasn't capitalism always done that? Uh, not to the extent that it has. You know, you can trace out the degree of monopoly power. And yes, it was terrible at the end of the 19th century, and that's why we passed antitrust laws. And they worked for a while. We broke up Standard Oil. We broke up a lot of the other big uh, uh, monopolies. And then around the middle of the 20th century, there was a set of ideas that were propagated by Milton Friedman, uh, University of Chicago. Um, that said the market is naturally competitive, don't worry about market power. And that was gives, basically giving a blank check to uh, the formation of more monopolies. The idea that corporations will try to ex exert that kind of exploitation for market power is an old one. Adam Smith talked about it. You know, he talked about uh, this idea that the business leaders uh, seldom get together, even for merriment, uh, without getting a conspiracy against the general well well-being. So he was aware of it, but that's why we passed laws to circumscribe it. And then we had this doctrine that say, "Don't worry about it." And now we see the consequences of not worrying about it. Well